Well, the Chamber offers opportunities for people to um, come together to solve problems. And uh, Chambers are business-led economic entities. And that's very important because every other kind of organization in, the, in this community will be seeking the business uh, involvement in their cause and their mission. But here we have all the business people uh, in the community that are all working together already. So it's extremely important that uh, business-led corporate civic leadership uh, continue, and that's really the only way to advance uh, most of the biggest issues that are going on in this community. Well, for the last two years, we've uh, been outlining and, and presenting this concept of looking at what influences will shape chambers and community, but development over the next uh, 10 years. And uh, what we came up with were these eight influences. And what, what has happened with those is that, that it's kind of 40 pages that changed the world for chambers, because it talked not necessarily a prescriptive answer for what was going to be, what their chambers were going to be like, but an aspirational answer to what chambers were going to be working on. It talks about the things that they were going to have to tackle and uh, the likelihood of uh, the changes that will take place in their world. So having worked with Rebecca Ryan and her uh, outstanding planning model that she uses, I really encourage you to take part February 24th and, and March 24th as you tackle these issues that are being faced in every community across the country. And uh, the planning sessions that will take place uh, will be different than anything you've ever been involved with before. More energy, uh, more excitement, and, and more uh, ways for you to play as opposed to simply sit in an audience or fill out a form. So I, I strongly encourage you to take part. I think you'll uh, find it the, the most uh, valuable uh, uh, session and most valuable opportunity to take this community to the next level.